Just over a century ago, one of Texas's earliest conservationists, Isabella Neff, blazed the trail for the future of Texas public lands. She gave her family's farm on the Leon River to be held in trust by the people of Texas. This remarkable gift was part of the inspiration that created one of our greatest treasures, Texas State Parks. In the century to follow, state parks have been established from the Cypress River bottoms of East Texas to the mountaintops above El Paso. They can serve some of our most iconic landscapes and give us the space to connect with our home. As our state park system turns 100, we should reflect on how far we've come and consider the next century for Texas public lands. In the early 1900s, conservationists nationwide began protecting vast landscapes by establishing national parks, forests, and state parks. Texans weren't far behind. In 1923, Governor Pat Neff, the son of Isabella Neff, created the Texas State Parks Board, which traveled across the state requesting both land and financial contributions. But there was a problem. Funding was entirely reliant on philanthropy, which came to a screeching halt in the Great Depression. But out of this hardship came opportunity. In the 1930s, Franklin D. Roosevelt created the Civilian Conservation Corps, employing thousands of young men to create trails and build infrastructure on public lands. Their hard work is still found on 29 of our Texas state parks. The next wave of parks came in the 1950s and 60s and were created alongside reservoirs. In 1963, Texans voted to further fund the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, which was aided by a cigarette sales tax that helped fund the golden era of state park creation. In 1993, the sporting goods sales tax replaced the cigarette tax, and funding was permanently secured in 2019 when voters passed Prop 5 dedicating funds for our state parks. Over the last 100 years, the Texas state park system has grown from Mother Neff's initial six-acre donation to more than 640,000 acres found in 89 parks. It shouldn't be a surprise that nearly 10 million people a year visit Texas state parks. They offer a lifetime of adventure in some of the most beautiful places on earth. They're where we go to test ourselves, to push our limits, and to feel the earth beneath our hands and feet. The views from the summits give us perspective and offer an increasingly precious experience. Solitude. State parks give us a place to slow down, to reflect, and to be fully immersed in the natural world. These special places give us an opportunity to be awed by the wildlife around us. Texas is in the flyway of migrations from across the hemisphere. And our state parks are home to some of the most incredible wildlife spectacles on earth. 
It's where the survivors of the great Southern Plains bison herd still thunder across the prairie. And where the desert bighorn still battle over the Rio Grande. They're home to some of our most magnificent Texans and legends that roam the canyons. From some of the mightiest to the most iconic, these lands are crucial for the conservation of countless species. And they give access to everyone who wants to experience the wonders of Texas. Come on. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> So here we're gonna work on this cast. So you bring it, just bring it up to right here. Yeah. Now you can flip it straight upstream. Uh, great, that was great. Yay. <laughs> it's important to find the right moments to pass down your most precious stories and skills. Okay. Wait. Something hit it, yep, yep, yep. Tip up, oh, tip up, you got tip him. Up, tip you up. got him, oh. <laughs> He's a little. Keep on stripping, keep stripping, keep yeah. stripping, stripping. Yeah, strip, 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 strip. Come on. Oh, just grab your line. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He's so little. I know. Look at yeah, his yeah. old face. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, Let me see it's this. a spot tailed minnow. Spot tailed minnow. Yeah. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> State parks are where some of life's most valuable lessons are learned and where some of the very best memories are made. <laughs> As Texas grows from 30 to 50 million people over the next few decades, these parks will become increasingly important. A century ago, the founders of our state parks could have never imagined how great of a gift they were leaving behind. They gave us wild landscapes and the space to fall in love with our family, our friends, and our magnificent home, Texas. <laughs> A hundred years from now, future Texans will undoubtedly cherish the parks that we've established in the last century. And those will create in the next. <laughs>